Should we uh, should we change clothes or something? No, we already we already had. I didn't bring any other clothes. We, we already had ourselves. So you're like it's day six and we're. Oh yeah, it's so, too late. Twenty five sleighs of Christmas. This is part two of the first update. We're gonna probably update these once a week because daily is yeah. getting hard. We'll just drop six at a time. We're we're, we're, we're getting there. Well, we might be able to upload them too because if there comes a chance that we're doing them over Zoom then we can upload them pretty quick. So you might get some throughout the week. Yeah. So day two, 25 studies of Christmas. Day one was the puka. Uh, day two. Day two, which was my day one. Which was his he, day one, he, but flopped him. We, yeah, he kind of he, he kind of jumped in. We went, uh, this was called uh, Once Upon a Time at Christmas. It's on Hulu. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff and want to know where these movies come from, where you yeah. can stream it yourself. Uh, I guess the basis of this movie, just a brief synopsis, is like. Uh, I wish I could remember the IMDb synopsis. I wish. Was, I think it was two deranged killers dressed as Santa and Mrs. Claus. And terrorize the like, town. Terrorize like the town. Yeah. Once upon a time at Christmas. God, where do we start? I'm Actually, just. I'm just gonna go. With, yeah, I'm just gonna Actually, go ahead and say spoilers right now. Spoilers, of course. Not that you're gonna be <laughs> that mad. About, oh my god. About if you haven't seen this movie. I almost hate like how fun of a time I had with this movie. I mean, because... yeah, it's it's really weird, <laughs> and it is really weird because it's it, it is it's shit, but at the same time. But it was like, here's my thing, and I want to say this first and foremost, because as artists ourselves, yeah. like it, it takes. A lot of courage to do that at any point to make a movie to make music to, to get on stage to do any of that stuff and this is a movie where like I did not feel like anybody was like looking to be like let's make some fast cash like let's just this was something that like they tried and they really tried to make something like they to did. the best of their ability and where I was super shocked was that Lionsgate distributed it it was a I mean, it was like a Lionsgate release so the only thing I don't understand about this is like, okay, you got Lionsgate releasing it. So yes, why I, is it a Lionsgate release and it looks like something that was made in our hometown? Yeah, like, it's, <laughs> yeah, because a lot of the acting throughout this whole fucking movie is just not good. Like, okay. in my opinion, like, I just, I mean, there was only two characters in this entire movie that I was like, okay, these people know how. You know, you texted me that. You texted yeah, me how and to you said, these are the two, and I agreed on the, uh, the killer. Yeah, the this. killer guy, I think he's... On IMDb, uh, when I looked it up this morning, he was the only one that actually had a picture on there, so <laughs> that should tell you something. Yeah, he was good, the Santa Claus killer, who wasn't actually Santa Claus. Saint Nick, I believe is his name in this uh, movie. Because uh, he, he was Nick something. His, I forget, Nick Conrad, I think. Yeah, Con Conrad Calloway, something Conway. like that. Yeah, oh, so man, Something man. around that. This movie starts off with... Um, Mrs. Claus in jail. Real quick, real quick, before you the the <laughs> the other good actor, the other good actor you thought you said the sheriff. Now, did you mean the old guy? Yeah. Or did you, yeah. Because I, I think you're sadly mistaken there. Because the old guy I thought was like one of the <laughs> the worst actors. Not nah, like he was like on a William Shatner kind of level. The deputy like, I felt like. But like the the deputy I thought was like I was like this kid's gonna get he like if yeah. he's not already in one of the Chicago like shows. He should be. The like deputy, he, he, I thought that. He was somebody, like, I thought that that guy good. acted, but it looked like at certain parts of that movie that somebody else's voice is was his voice. <laughs> That's like, nice. somebody went and recorded voice. You know what? Actually, because, I did think that in a few scenes. I was like... Because either he did, or and it might be the actor himself, but it's like they probably recorded this movie and was like, yo, dude, you need more of a grimier, edgier tone throughout the movie. And he's like, yeah, and got into the studio and was like... I got you up on the cop. I'm gonna get you <laughs> because now I mean he 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 was all right. You know I thought the sheriff was like okay. I thought sheriff. Was the just... further and this was not even that far in the movie. So the further they went into the movie, yes, <laughs> I would just the way that this movie was written. There's certain scenes that I just I was like, why the hell would you just write it like that? Like the mm, we'll see, okay. It. So here's my thing about it. I didn't think the script was terrible. Like, I, I thought the script was okay. Like, there's definitely some moments where I'm like, man, I don't know about that. The a moment we'll get to at the end, I mean, the finale of this movie, because we'll, we'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, no, but I... But, like, like, I think that this is a movie that is a testament to how you can have a decent script, and it really comes down to the actors. Like, it really, 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 really Maybe, comes maybe down it's to, some, in some parts. I mean, I don't know. I was just thinking about every moment of this movie, every line that came out of these people's mouths. I'm just like, if somebody did this 
a little better. Like this movie would be a little better. Like it would definitely have a I, far okay. higher. Okay, we gotta dive in because there's one part oh, that yeah, just it really bothered me. And it was, I think that this was like a script writing thing. Okay. So the movie starts off, Miss Claus is in jail. She says, Daddy's going to show up. You're like, what the hell? She's already in jail. I don't know what's going on here. We start the movie. I always have a little problem with movies that start like that. Which oh, is like, we're, we're, we're going to Tarantino it? Yeah. yeah. It's like, let's, I just, don't mind it. let's just start at, I mean, like, because it, when it comes in, it's like got a Santa guy at the mall and they decapitate this guy. I didn't have, like, I felt like that would be a perfect place to start the movie, come in with the first kill, we're good. Um, but whatever, it progresses into, like, you know, you meet all these characters, uh, most of which you don't give a shit about and you don't really see until, like, later on in the movie, especially, like, the boyfriend people in, yeah, in the yeah, shit. Yeah. You don't see them at all until the end. But you got the main girl, I, for, I already forget her name. Yeah. You got her, uh, fuck, how does this movie even go? So, I, I will say, like, from the get-go, as soon as you see Mrs. Claus in that cell for the first time, you're like, okay, obviously, and especially when Santa comes into the fold later, obviously somebody wanted to make a Joker Harley Quinn movie. And I, know, yeah, and I said this yeah, to you yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. Obviously somebody wanted to make a Joker Harley Quinn Yeah, movie, definitely look like And it was Harley like, Quinn. I can't afford to do Joker Har Harley Quinn, so we're going to do this instead. Yeah, and definitely like, look like Harley Quinn um, I mean, you know, in Santa Claus. Santa even had, like, the crazy laugh and everything. She was like dressed in like she she practically looked like she was just shy of wearing like she was the makeup shy. Yeah. <laughs> so so you got all this character building going on while you see these two starting to kill people and then they you know like I said they they kill a uh, mall Santa and then they got these two teens they're all making out and the deputy comes and he says you guys got an hour to go home and he leaves and then you know the girl wants to go and the guy kind of like you know does some sly creep fucking weird shit and tries to be like nah babe we're cool you're the only one for me and then these guys show up and get killed uh you know the killers show up and kill them too and by this point i was like all right you know what what are we building towards um <laughs> here at all like because it, it just seemed random uh, yeah it didn't seem like there was like any sort of lines you know connecting sure. so uh i forget even who was the the three Oh, wait, the three was just a random family at the time in the movie. Well, because re remember, it's the 12 days of Christmas. It's the 12 days of Christmas. You don't find this out, though. You don't find that, well, you find this out, like, way yeah, fucking yeah. earlier you, than the, the, yeah. like, for some yeah. odd reason, yeah. it takes the All entire right. goddamn, like, Federal Bureau of Investigation, the whole government, the whole... Where I figured it out to myself, like, oh, they're doing the fucking 12 <laughs> days of Christmas. But it was about... Um, ten or eleven movie story wise until they're right. It's just like why? Oh. Why did it take all of these fucking uh, law enforcement officers to to finally figure out that they're doing the twelve days of Christmas? And it was like day ten or eleven when they figure it out. And then the dude he says he drops the line in his deputy voice, and he's like, "But there are twelve days of Christmas." And it's like, "Yeah, man, but if you had figured this out, that line would have been a lot doper if you had caught him. Like, I don't know, maybe like not." Yeah, at this point, they already got the whole 12 days pretty much in the wraps. I just gotta, I gotta get into it, because my biggest thing is, if you, you should have found it out, because the very first one was the, the Partridge and the Pear Partridge Tree. Partridge and the Pear Tree. Okay, you find out way later in the movie yeah. that, okay, well, you see it at the beginning. You see them right. grab a pear, okay, and it's, like, to me, it's like, that's a pear, and they're like, put this apple into evidence. <laughs> Why they think it's an apple, I don't know, because I have worked at a grocery store for a long while, and I never have confused an apple and a pear. Either or, yeah, and the guy's last name was uh, Partridge, so yeah, when they finally start figuring things out, they're like, Partridge. Partridge. And he's like, hey, did you get that DNA back on that apple? And he's like, oh, actually, uh, Sheriff, it was inconclusive, but uh, funny thing is, it's actually a pear. Pear. And he's and like, actually, oh. I think that was the first time they did it, because I think it was... Unless that was that when he figured it out was the twelve days of Christmas because there was a moment before the geese thing when they were like this a pair a pair could that be and you're like come on come on twelve days of Christmas I don't even and then it goes on and then like the the sixth the fucking geese thing dude like that's when I was like okay 
Are you guys fucking with me? Is this movie fucking with me? Well, like, especially to have the geese, and then he shows up to the next place, and there's little paper swans in the pool. It's like, at this point, it's at just this point, it come on, man. You bitch know? slapping the, you in the, the face. The, the deputy goes back and forth with this farmer, and they literally fucking, like, exaggerate. Like, he killed only six geese. Wait, did you say six geese? And he's like, yes, yeah, six geese. Six geese? Six geese? And they fucking go back and forth on this, and it's just like... Yeah, why did it take like, you five more days? Yeah, no, no, out? because see, I okay. So when I started kind of figuring it out was when the Very girls died. About this when movie. the girls died. So there's a group of five girls, and they get murdered in this bathroom of that's a public right. ass place, right? No, it was the four because uh, that's why the fifth one didn't get killed. But that's what I'm saying. It was on day four of the thing. So that's where I put it together because when when they goes up and you think the killer's gonna kill the main characters, one of her best friend chicks. Um, you're like, oh shit, and then he goes, nah, we already got enough numbers for today. Yeah. And that's when I was like, oh, because he killed four people. Okay, it's the fourth day. And then at that point, you saw, well, he killed, you know, three people the day before, mm -hmm. killed two people before that, right. one yeah. at the beginning. It's like, obviously, we're doing that. Um, that's also a part where you can see just how Very clear. clearly, yeah. like, these people don't know how to act when they <laughs> kills one of the girls and she's supposed to she's be dead. Smart. She's and she's just there smiling. Dead on the wall. And my favorite thing is, I swear to God, I'm pretty sure she's in a scene later. Like, I, I think there's like a party or something. Yeah, I think it was the party going on near the end of the movie. And I think she's a girl running down the stairs. And I'm like, weren't she just, is she, maybe that's why she, she didn't die. She was like, I'm alive. Like, I'm she's not still. Dead. She, <laughs> but then, like, after that happens, then the main character girl, she gets a little present while she's at work because she works with them all, saying that she's an elf. And um, it happens to be um, a Christmas card from the Saint Nick murderer being like, you know, the 12th. And he's spelling it out for you, too. On the 12th day, mm -hmm. like, we will be a family again. So she's like, what? What does this mean? What could it all mean? So they're all like, why? How is he connected to you? And the mom comes in. And this, I was really confused because I thought the mom character... And the, the Mrs. Claus character really looked like the same person. I See, I did not at all. I don't think, because I even saw their IMDb page. Like, I don't think they did. I thought they did. I smoked a little bit while I was watching it, and it was ridiculous. So I was, like, really confused. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, she's like, there's no way this guy knows who my daughter, and they're not connected. And then the daughter goes home, and she starts going and Googling with her fucking buddy. And they find out this Nick Calloway guy or whoever who, who this guy is and shit. And then this is where I have a problem with the writing is because when the girl goes to her mom to confront her, she goes, and she goes up to the mom and she's like, um, Nick Calloway, it's this guy that he was in the army and it says you were married to him. And that was about the time I was born. And she's like, Oh honey, no, honey, no. And she's like, don't you dare sit here and tell me that Nick Calloway is my dad. And she's like, no, I won't sit down there and tell you this. And she's like, well, me and Nick Holloway had a kid. And then the daughter's like, is that my dad? It's like, dude, we've been talking about this for fucking <laughs> 10 minutes now, son. Like, yeah, obviously your mom's telling you the story of them to, to you know, in the past banging and having you. I was like the mom point. was really weird in it, too. She was always just like, it's like, and okay, it could have been she knows attitude. who it is, too. Like, she knows who the killer is, is the thing that gets me, is like, so why did she not... There's a lot of these questions. Like, why didn't... Or why did somebody do this or that? Yeah, so that's where it's like... Well, we've been explaining beforehand. You're probably like... That's that doesn't script, sound like a bad movie. The script falls apart. Yeah, the guy's the killing for the 12 days of Christmas. That doesn't sound that bad. But then when you bring in the fact that it's like... Wait, no. He wants to just... He just wants his family back, dude. He's just trying to get his family back. How he's how this is gonna help him get his family back, I don't fucking know. Okay, because I just just off of what I got from that movie, I'm pretty sure his ex wife and daughter were not fans of like murders yeah. and yeah. shit like that. And then it breaks it down. I think he was gonna kidnap him. I think that was the idea. Maybe, but like I don't. But really... then, like, what do you do with Mrs. Claus? Like, you know what I mean? see, because that's what didn't make sense. So it's like I, I think he just wanted his daughter. I don't think he cared about his ex-wife. Well, I think, because this is where I got confused, was that scene uh, at the end, the big finale, where they're trying to, uh, you know, Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, they got the the main girl and her mom and everybody. 
Yeah, because the whole movie they keep showing you a fucking little piece of paper for this drum fucking fest, you know, coming oh, up. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. like, hi, 12 drummers drumming and shit like that. Yeah, so they bust up the party, they kidnap the mom and shit. So they got the mom tied up to a chimney, and then they got this other chick. And I was like... They were both tied up at Christmas. And, yeah, and I was like, no, wait a minute. Like, I know I've been paying attention. Who is this other girl, and why is she the other option like yeah. why is she it's like where is her dad and all it's, it's like, the, oh it's the main yeah. character's other friend that you've only seen that you saw twice. way earlier she was twice. day seven she was day seven she was the swamp yeah. no she well was... that and you saw her at the beginning of the movie when all, yeah. all the girls were hanging out that's twice we're talking about lack of character development and then you said she picks her to live too and it's just like yeah and then great that's, friend I that's guess. the like, big thing know? that's the big culmination is the guy the the guy's I'm your dad, and you're not yeah. any different than yeah, I am. So different yeah, I'll make you kill. So you got to choose because they got he's got C four. This is where it goes full Joker. Too. Yeah, like, C four on like the very obvious one. Yeah, and, and and he makes her hold a fucking grenade and takes the pin out. And he's like, now, if you let okay. go of this grenade, you're you're gonna kill us all. And then so it's sitting there, and he's like, you got to choose either your mom or your best friend. And I'm sitting here like in my head at that point, thinking, okay, character development. Through this movie, she's going to just drop the grenade and kill everybody if nobody, you know, because why, why would you choose one over the other? That's, to me, in my head, that's the hero moment or trying to just, no, what does she do? She instantly, it's like, they, they're, he's getting into explaining, like, the main killer guy, and she's like, babe, I choose my best friend, like, yeah. that you've not really, like, you're like, oh, she didn't come home from practice last yeah. night, that's not like her, oh, well. But I'll choose her over my mom. Yeah. Like, I mean, the mom was like bitchy, but it's like that's your mom, though, man. Dude, how well do you know this other way? How much do you not like your mom, dude? Um, so at this point, though, the cops are coming in. Right? So it, all the main players are in the room now at yeah. the end of the movie. Yeah. And now here's where I really just got lost on the the, the script writing. It was that grenade she's holding, and so she's holding the grenade. And at this point, the cops have come in. They 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 pop the guy. They got Santa. Yeah, they, they shot him. They're yeah. on him. Like they've straddled Santa. It's over. Yeah, it's over. And then she decides to drop the grenade. Yeah. It's like, why the fuck would you do that? And it turns out to be a flashbang. It turns. It was it was a smoke grenade. It was. She drops it, and the smoke starts filling up. And they're like, oh no, you know the oh the sheriff jumps in. She he <laughs> the sheriff jumps, grabs her, and says. Don't look at it! <laughs> and puts his back to it. And I'm like, well, what was that going to do? Like, now your boat just going to blow up. Uh, and it's like, why would you wait till every main character in this movie is in the room? Everything's good. Everything's resolved. And now, fuck it. We're just going to kill everybody. Uh, and then, I thought that was the dumbest fucking way to let this villain get away. Of all the ways. Like, I would have dug the Halloween ending where it's like, Oh, we got him. And then you look back, it's like, son of a bitch, he wasn't dead. Like, okay, I could I could roll with that. But, like, the, the smoke bomb, like, again, I refer to the Joker Harley Quinn thing. And it's, like, like they, it's very obvious. And I feel they like they force this shit, like, by being like, oh, well, he was military background right. and all they, this that stuff. That definitely and, felt very forced. And the last time they tried to put him in an insane asylum, like, he almost, like, they mm. imply that he probably fucked a lot of cops up. Yeah. Um... And, and they, they also say that he burnt down his insane asylum and Mrs. Claus becomes the only other person from that insane asylum that, that lived through this. Um, he, an old guy faked his own death, that's what, because they were like, it can't be him. Sounds that's what the way. mom, that's the mom's excuse. It can't be him. They found his, his teeth by... Uh, that's right. They, they found, found his teeth, teeth in the accident. By the uh, burnt body, and it's like, that's, oh, well, the guy's got, you know, the Joker grill the whole time. He's got silver teeth the whole time, so... It's like, all right, oh. I get it, but dumb. Dumb way to set up a sequel. Dumb way to well, end the movie. Well, so now, let's, uh, I'll end on that. Um, the little Tarantino moment from the beginning of the movie. By this point, because it's actually kind of a long movie. It's almost two hours. It's, yeah. it's an hour and 47 minutes, I think. Yeah, by that moment, you've probably pretty, pretty much And honestly, by the time the I've gotten one. through everything we've gotten through with this movie, I totally forgot about this scene in the cell at the beginning. And uh, we get back to that moment, and you're like, oh, that's right. But at this point, you know what's going to happen. And, and Santa Claus comes in, whack, takes out that deputy. And, and, that's um, it. and now here's the fun part. Not only, this is a little, another little Christmas gift from us to you. Not only can you watch Once Upon a Time at Christmas on Hulu, on Hulu right now, but the sequel that's set up in that scene 
<laughs> is now available as of today. today. As of this recording, it just came out today. It's called The Nights Before Christmas. The Nights, plural, before Christmas. Three ninety nine, you know, on those something platforms. like that. I think they said on Amazon. If you got Amazon Prime, you can rent it. We be... might have to watch it maybe at some point. I, we'll, we'll definitely try to get to it before like, Christmas. Cool. Eve. To, I'm curious, honestly. I'm curious where they go with it because I only had watched the trailer. Um, overall, though, I would probably rate this movie. I would give this movie a five and a half out of ten myself. Word. It's all right. It's it's one of those movies you just want to throw on smoke and laugh at some dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Definitely throw this one on. You wouldn't be pissed. You wouldn't be wasting your time if you watched it. I guess is a better way to put it. Uh, so what did you say? You said five. And five and a half. They five really half. they really tried, but I think the the below par acting and yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the not very good CGI. They really tried, but they could have tried yeah. a little harder. They and, and you know what? I think I think I might have to agree. I'll say five and a half. Five and a half. I'll is say fair, five right? and a half. Like because the thing is, like, I I did enjoy it. I did have fun. Yeah. You know? I kept it kept me watching. I did another thing, and then a little compliment I'll give it, a little cherry on top here. I like their transitions. You know yeah. what I mean? The day to day when it was like, here's the day, like instead of just doing like the the, the shit on the screen, like just the letters on the screen, they had the little setup with the yeah. Christmas gifts and stuff. I thought, that, I thought it was cool. I and it got that. bloodier, I believe. It did. It got like a little more fucked up as it went. I, I thought that was cool. Um, so that so, was good. So yeah. that's that's why maybe they improved in that sequel. So we might check it out. Uh, sequels. Yeah. It, it's sitting at like a, a 3.6 on IMDb right now, I think. Which like, yeah, that makes sense. But we're generous people. Like we enjoyed it. You know, we had, we, we enjoyed it a lot. Five and a, five and a half. Five and a half. Check it out. Uh, that was once upon a time at Christmas. At Christmas. Weird ass fucking title. 